Hello and welcome to the fourth PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking a little bit on uh, comments, variables, and just a little bit on like string concatenation as it's called, but mostly how do you put variables with on into a string basically. So uh, with that let's hop right on into it. The first thing is commenting. There's two ways to comment there. You can do a slash slash and that's good for a single line of comments. As you can see when you hit enter and you come down no longer is it the same color and now it's going to throw you some errors. Whereas it's just a single comment, let's just do echo hello. We'll save that, put it back to the server, pop over to our old one, we'll refresh you see hello, but you don't see the this comment here. Now, if you're planning on commenting just like a huge comment or you want to put up like a list, like sometimes in tutorials I want to put up um, a whole different like a whole bunch of examples or defining characteristics for something, and you want it, you'll just want to be able to list things out without doing slash slash list, slash slash list, you know. Um, the way to do that, to do a multi-line comment, is a forward slash star, and then wherever you want to end it, star forward slash. And everything in here is now classified as a comment. So we can save that and throw that back to the server, refresh, and we still have hello. So um, that's comments. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that because it's wasting space. Um, so the next thing uh, is variables. So variables are defined in the following way. Use dollar sign and they can start with um, any kind of letter, uppercase or lowercase. And then also uh, you can start with an underscore. You can't start with a space and you can't start with a number. So if you really wanted to start with some sort of digit, you know, you can either write out to or you can do like underscore two, something like that. Um, but yeah, you just can't start with a digit. As you can see, it's already getting angry with me. So um, that's how you define a variable. So we're just gonna literally call this var one. Um, then you use an equal sign and you're basically, it's like an assignment operator basically. You're assigning something to this variable. And what we want to assign to var one is uh, how are you? So uh, the way that you can use variables, at least in an echo statement, is let's say you want to do hello, how are you? So you want to say hello, and then what you'll do is to put it like something um, to another, like to put a variable, to concatenate the variable to the string, use a period that's called a full stop, and then you can just put the variable out. Now, what this is going to do is make somewhat of an ugly addition. Like in Python you can use either the plus sign or the comma and the comma just automatically adds a space and the plus sign does not. Whereas here in PHP um, you just have the full stop. So when we refresh this and we didn't add a semicolon I'm sure, yep. When we refresh this um, you'll see that it's kind of jammed together. So naturally what you'll have to get used to doing is spacing things. So hello and really you want a period here. Space save that and you'll put that up to the server and you'll refresh and now you see hello space how are you and it just looks better and so that's how you add uh, variables and echo out variables naturally as you get further into this with um, you know using more HTML concepts and stuff it becomes really useful to be echoing out various variables so now just to expand this just slightly further let's say um, the first variable we want to use is going to be name and we're going to say name is Harrison and we'll do age equals uh, 99. Let's say you want to do, um, you want to echo out hello and you want to bold their name and then you want to say your ages and then you want to bold the age. You can probably already guess sort of how we might do this or wholly how we might do this, but just as a quick example, it's good to just kind of run through this stuff. So let's say uh, we're going to do this. So hello, and then we want to do um, the bold the name Harrison, but when you spit out a variable, you can't, you know, put, unless you put literally the strong tags in front of the variable, you could do it that way. 
But instead, what we're going to do is just do strong, and then we're going to append name, and then again, we want to um, append um, some more text. You'll have to add the space. Obviously, we already added the space here. And then we wanted to go ahead and close off the strong tag, so we just want to bold the name. Then we wanted to um, say, you are, and then again, we wanted the strong tag. Close that off, period, age, period. We already opened up that parenthesis, or the uh, quotes there. And then we'll just do years old. Okay, so now it should say, hopefully, oh, we better close off the next strong tag. Strong. Close that off. So now it goes, hello, initiates the strong, puts in the name of Harrison space you are, initiates strong again, and then says um, the age, whatever that is, and then years old. So we'll save that. Put that up to the server, refresh, and sure enough, it bolds just the name and the age. So those are the basics of defining variables, doing comments, and kind of you know starting to work in variables into string text and all of that. So as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.